Welcome to our channel. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Hello guys, the name of today's storybook is Scooby-Doo Fishy Plantum. Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Ink Gang arrived at the Coolsville Aquarium for a private after-hours tour. Velma had won first place in the science fair, and the tour was her prize. They would be the first visitors to see the aquarium's newest attraction, the beautiful and rare Rainbow Flounder. Good evening, said Mr. Winterbottom, the aquarium's head curator. Jinkies, listen to this, Velma exclaimed. The Coolsville Aquarium is home to more than 12,500 ocean creatures. That's correct, Mr. Winterbottom said proudly. But before we start the tour, let's stop by our underwater snack bar so we can get some dinner. <laughs> what great idea, Shaggy gulped. Steve Curley, the snack bar manager, wasn't happy about staying open late. He muttered angrily, but the gang didn't hear him. They were too preoccupied by the impressive surroundings. The snack bar was 16 feet underwater. Let's go see our rainbow flounder, Mr. Winterbottom said. On the way to the exhibit, Mr. Winterbottom became upset with the janitor who was slowly mopping the floor. Why are you still here? The curator asked. You are the slowest janitor I've ever seen. The gang felt sorry for the old man. At the Rainbow Flounder's tank, the gang got a big surprise. Someone was stealing the priceless fish. I am the fishy phantom, cackled the intruder. And the rainbow flounder is mine. Help! Mr. Winterbottom cried as the fishy phantom fled the scene. Fred immediately took control. Don't worry, Mr. Winterbottom. It won't get away. Go check with security to make sure that all the exits are secured. Daphne, Velma, and I will follow the fishy phantom, Fred said. Shaggy and Scooby, you go the other direction. We might be able to box it in. Come on, gang. We've got another mystery on our hands. Like, let's check the snack bar, Shaggy suggested. Maybe that freaky fish is hungry. Rare. Scooby nodded. They were both hoping to get some more snacks. Rawr, rawr, rawr. The fishy phantom roared. Oh, I told you to leave me alone. Now you're in for it. Zoinks! We were only looking for snacks, Mr. Fishy! Shaggy pleaded. Uh -huh. Rex! Scooby agreed. Snacks! Growled the fishy phantom. Now you're going to be my fish food! The creature chased Shaggy and Scooby all over the aquarium. Then Scooby got an idea. He and Shaggy grabbed some scuba gear and jumped into a fish tank. Like great plan, Scoob! Shaggy talked loudly so he could be heard underwater. That creepy crawdaddy will never find us in here! The fishy phantom was suddenly swimming towards Shaggy and Scooby as fast as a torpedo. Zoink! Swim for it, Scoob! Shaggy cried. He's back! And he's brought friends! Shaggy swam as fast as he could, while Scooby dog paddled with all his might. Meanwhile, the rest of the gang made a very interesting discovery. The old janitor was sneaking around. He seemed a lot more energetic than before. He's up to something, Daphne whispered. He is acting very suspicious, Velma agreed. Come on, Fred said. Let's check out what he's up to. Hold it right there, Fred shouted. What are you doing in here? The janitor cried. I'm just finishing up for the night. 
Daphne and Velma spotted the glow of rainbow colors behind the old man. It looks like you've got some explaining to do, Velma said. You've caught me, the man said as Fred pulled off his mask. I'm not really a janitor. I'm Cal Cooley from the Coolsville Action News Squad, Velma interrupted. I've seen your exposés on TV. Cooley had gone undercover as a janitor to get footage of the rainbow flounder for his news show. Shame on you, Mr. Cooley, Velma said as they escorted the reporter out. You knew the aquarium wanted to keep the rainbow flounder's image a secret. Just then, Shaggy and Scooby showed up. When they saw that the TV reporter was leaving the aquarium, they wanted to leave too. Oh no you don't, Daphne said. We haven't solved this mystery. Yet. Listen, gang. I've got a plan to capture this fishy phantom, Fred explained, and we have all the things we need to set a trap right here in the aquarium. Like, does that include Scoob and me as bait? Shaggy asked. Fred admitted that it did. At first, Scooby and Shaggy refused to do it, but when Velma tempted them with a box of Scooby snacks, they agreed to help. Soon. The trap was set with everyone in place. I hope Fred's plan works, Shaggy said. I'd hate to think I dressed up in this crazy outfit for nothing. Scooby started giggling. Hey, what are you giggling at? Shaggy asked. You look just as ridiculous. The fishy phantom couldn't believe it. Shaggy and Scooby were in the big tank laughing. It looked like they had taken the rainbow flounder from where the fishy phantom had hidden it. <laughs> The fishy phantom howled angrily as it swam in their direction. The fishy phantom approached the trap. Fred tried to tug on the rope to bring up the net, but something went wrong. The net didn't catch the phantom. Shaggy and Scooby had to flee from the monster once again. Outside the tank, Fred and the girls were puzzled. Jinkies! Velma exclaimed. I think something else tugged on the rope. Minutes later, the creature had cornered Shaggy and Scooby inside the deserted gift shop. <coughs> Growled the fishy phantom. Give me that rainbow flounder in the goldfish bowl. Zoinks! Whatever you say! Shaggy cried and switched on the light from the reporter's camera. It was so bright that the phantom couldn't see a thing. The fishy phantom cried. The rest of the gang followed the creature's scream to find Shaggy and Scooby. Fred removed the fishy phantom's mask. Jeepers, it's Steve Curley, the snack bar manager, Daphne exclaimed. Like, wow, Shaggy scowled as Scooby sniffed indignantly. To think we let you cook us dinner. Steve Curley hid the rainbow flounder in his pantry so he could sneak out after hours and sell it, Velma explained. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids, growled the manager. Now the rainbow flounder is safely back in its tank, said Mr. Winterbottom happily. Let's go take a look. The Mystery Ink Gang was amazed by the beauty of the rainbow flounder. Thank you, kids, the curator said. The rainbow flounder is now safe for everyone to enjoy. This mystery wouldn't have gone so swimmingly without our Scooby, Velma exclaimed. Scooby Dooey Doo! cheered Scooby. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Here are some videos we thought you might like. We hope to see you soon. Bye for now.